Rough Animator version 2.15 is out. And there's ba basically some bug fixes in this one. But one of the bug fixes is with a feature called Cycle Offset. And it's a feature I'd never used before, but I found it's pretty fun. So let's go ahead and install the new version and take a look at that on today's episode of the Expat Animator. Hey, it's Patrick. Welcome to my Expat Animator series, where I try and help beginners, hobbyists, and independent animators create 2D animations. Okay, so I've got Rough Animator open, and as you can see, I'm running uh, 2.14. So before I install 2.15, I want to uh, just take a look at something that um, was supposed to be a bug, but it's not a bug for me that I can see. Uh, but let's go ahead, um, let's check for updates here, and you're going to see, this is the update um, notification. So there's two things here, support for exporting HEVC and ProRes on compatible devices. So uh, I, I'm not worried about either of those, so I'm not going to demonstrate that today. But here's uh, the bug fix. It says, cycle offset was flipped vertically when previewing. So I went in and tried to see if that was happening in this version 2.14 and it wasn't happening for me on my Mac and it wasn't happening on my iPad. So you may not need this update uh, depending on if you're having that issue or not. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at version 2.14 before I install this. Uh, so I'm gonna say remind me later. So I just have a bouncing ball animation here and I added a cycle so you can see when I play this, it's just the ball going up and down. But what they were saying in the notes is, is that the cycle offset. So we wanna make sure that we're selected here on the cycle somewhere. And you'll notice that in our tool options, the cycle has some offset features here. So you've got the X offset and you've got the Y offset. And then you also have a scale offset. And I've never really used these features before. I just prefer to draw my animations, but I'm messing around with this, trying to get this uh, to flip vertically, like it was saying. Um, I found it was pretty fun. So for instance, if I'm on my cycle, I wanna offset one of these. Let's just, I already did this. So let's say if I offset it 300, you can see it shoots it over and you can do the Y offset, let's do another 300, and now it's shooting it down off the page. So I'm just gonna put this back at zero, but uh, let's go ahead and hit the scale offset. Let me just go 50%, and you'll see the whole uh, ball shrinks. And why would you wanna do this? Well, watch what happens when I hit play, and I was trying to just get this to flip vertically and it's not doing it for me. So I don't think it was an issue for me, but watch what happens when this plays. And let me go, let me go to the beginning here. So it actually is kind of a cool effect. It's almost like the ball is shooting back and you know, to the right in the distance and happening really fast, or it's almost like it's teleporting. So I can really see this feature with the, with the offset uh, feature being kind of cool tool to use to kind of experiment with your animations. So right now it's just a ball doing this, but what if this was a little uh, like a figure, you know, like jumping back and forth might be kind of cool in your animation. So let me stop this real quick and uh, I'm gonna shoot over to my iPad just to show you um, that I wasn't having the issue on my iPad either. So this is the same file and I'm just going to go over here and to the beginning here and let's hit play here. And it's able to do this the, the same thing. It's not flipping vertically for me on my iPad either. And again, this has not been upgraded to the latest version. So I don't know if it's a problem across all devices, but I wasn't having the issue. And you can see here, um, if I go over here and select on my cycle, I can, you know, I've got the 300 here. Let's just switch this around. Let's put that to zero. Let's do that to 300, oh, 3,000, that's too much. Here, let me just do 200. 
200. And let's see what that looks like. Let's just hit play. So now it's kind of just staying in line, but it's shrinking and, you know, so you can kind of experiment with this cycle offset feature and come up with some kind of cool uh, animations that you maybe weren't expecting. So uh, I would I would recommend messing around with this, but probably go ahead and upgrade to 2.15 if, if it's supposedly fixing um, a preview bug that it had. So let me switch back over to my Mac here. And I'm just going to go ahead and update this version. So let me let me just save this real quick. And let's go ahead and oops, let's go ahead check for updates. And let's go ahead and install the update. And then once this is installed, and I haven't done this yet, uh, I just want to make sure that the uh, the preview is still working. So let's make sure that that upgraded to 2.15, which it did. So now I'm gonna go ahead and open up that same file. Let's get my tool palette seem to, seem to bounce around uh, sometimes. And that might be something that Rough Animator can fix in the future, but I just like to move them around uh, get them, get them where I want them. Okay. So let's go ahead and preview this. And you know, this looks good to me. I'm not seeing any, um, flipping vertically with the file. So again, um, you know, you can come in here and just experiment. Uh, and then you've also got this forward and back forward. So if we select this on our cycle, let's see what that does. So for one thing, it gets rid of all of those options that we had before, and it's kind of not giving me um, uh, what I wanted with the back forward. So, and I have used back forward before, but just staying here on forward, we get these offset options. And so say we like what we've got here, we, we've got it shrinking and going down to the, to the right here. What I can do is I can convert these cycle drawings to real drawings, and we'll lose our cycle, but you know, that might be might be what we want to do because we want to go in and draw on these smaller uh, drawings. So let me go ahead and do that real quick here. And now you can see that the cycle is gone, but now we've got real drawings to draw on on this back end of the animation here. So if I wanted to add a face to this or something, you know, I can go in one by one and do those drawings uh, on this without screwing up uh, the cycle. So all in all, uh, I'm gonna experiment a little more with 2.15 and make sure I don't see any bugs. Hopefully you enjoy uh, this cycle offset feature. Uh, I'm really having fun with it. And uh, experiment it around and, and see what you can come up with uh, with your own animations. This has been another episode of the Expat Animator. My name is Patrick Davidson. Thanks for joining me today and keep on animating. If you found today's video helpful, you might like some of my animation classes over at Skillshare.com. I'll put the link in the description below.